Hello everybody, welcome back. Frigid Knight here as always. Uh been trying to I'm trying to do some things to address the resting bitch face that I seem to have. Uh I'm hoping this works. Not sure if I actually have a resting bitch face in real life though. Uh, actually, on second thought, I was thinking I might try and do some collecting in some of the other brains first. On second thought, I need to get back inside of Bob's mind. Think he would mind? Signal fire, try it. No one comes. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it was worth a try. So it doesn't get you enough hang time, I guess. Hello, Agent Zanato. Strange. I don't usually get visitors here. That sounds pretty lonely. Uh, I have my garden. Of course. The Zanatos are famous for their gardens. Oh dear. Huh? What did you plant here? Plants. What kind of seeds did you use? Oh, seeds. Yeah, that's right. No seeds. Lost them all. Where'd they go? Out there, I suppose. Can't really remember. Well, let's go find them. I'm uh, not a good swimmer. Are you? No. Welcome to the island, then, I guess. What am I supposed to do then? Huh. Well, that was unexpected. Wait, don't go. Come with me. It's okay. I'll just do some quick seed recon, and then I'll come right back. I promise. Yeah. Holy metaphor, Batman. I know this is the phrase 
one man is island, the whole world is an ocean, but this is... Maybe taking that a bit far. This bottle looks promising. And ominous. Promise. If you... Oh. Can't just go up to the island. Have to use the pier. And I guess each of the major islands represents someone that he has in his life, or I suppose had. Huh, I figured it would have been able to pick up one of those rocks. Hey, Otto. Glad Bob still keeps some friends around. Friends? Please. I'm curious. Huh. So is everybody else in this, in Bob's mind, going to see Rasputin the same way? I guess it makes sense. Because these are basically Bob's cognition, so to speak, and thus have part of his psyche. Emotional baggage or lost luggage. Yeah, well, there's a pier. Or I suppose a dock. Of course, if it's a dock, I guess I mean it's the. Yeah, that mean it's the what's up doc? Okay, so that is not a ledge to climb up on. Noted.
There it is. Oh, I thought that was spinning. And I'd be able to throw. I get the impression that, you know, based on what his mindscape looks like on the surface, I get the feeling Bob has some abandonment issues or is, has some sense of abandonment that he's uh, dealing with, possibly not in a healthy way. about this island. With the weird clouds above it. I've been on that one now. You hadn't seen your great uncle Bob in years. How does he know what you look like? My dad sent him pictures for years. He's never heard your voice, though, has he? How'd you know? <laughs> ah, here's the hat box tag. Whoops. Yeah, it'd actually be pretty funny if there was a uh, future Psychonauts game set far enough after this one that Raz and Lily are adults and Lily's voice sounds just like that of the, well, Bob's cognition of her. I guess. Well, hopefully I won't find hopefully there's neither a genie nor a demon in that bottle. But I suspect I'm gonna find one of the two. Mom, it's time for my 
suicidal. I'm guessing this was a home in the in the fifties. Based on the color scheme, I think the fifties you tend to make use. Come inside. I made dinner. Huh. Tend to make use of rather bright colors like that. Hold it right there. Why? I wouldn't want you to get hurt. How could that little thing hurt me? Oh, they always start out little, don't they? And then they grow and grow and cause so much pain. Here, let me just take this somewhere safe. Wait, no, I want that. No, you don't. Hmm. Okay, uh, oh, let's start at the beginning. How did I get up here? Yeah, but a better question. Where are you? Oh. Get off me, Vine! That's... Weird. I was born... <laughs> Ahoy there! Uh, lend a hand? What do you need? Uh, just, uh, caught in a bit of a bind here. If you could jiggle me loose, I could get some fresh air on my face. I'll work it out. Just hang in there. Is that a joke? Because, uh, I didn't ask for any jokes. Ah, that's the stuff. Yeah, a little motion really gets the juices falling, if you know what I mean. Hang on. I'll break that final vine. No, 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 no. I'll just leave it. I, I think this is all the freedom I can handle right now. Huh. Why is the swamp order all fizzy? Time around the block, Jeeves. Uh oh. How'd you get yourself caught by that bird? God, I got this feathered fairy service right where I want him. 20 feet in the air? He's keeping me moving so I don't plant roots. It's a constant struggle. Okay. Put me down, wretched demon. What's with the tiki lights or whatever the heck those are? This doesn't exactly look like the kind of place you'd have a luau. Thanks for the lift, by the way. I didn't catch your name. See your house from here. Is it green? <coughs> ah, shoot. Old Rats greenhouse number hmm, 171. <laughs> okay, that's bad. Name for me this monster so roughly bearing me o'er the sea. Is that a reference to something? Wait a second, what am I doing up here? Oh, 
wait, that was a, uh... I hope you're not taking me back to your nest to, uh, feed something. Hi! Have you met my friend? Is they just like... love to fly and fly. Aren't there, like, these plastic swords that use, like, Up skewer air, cherry used for cocktails or something? Man. Have an air sickness bag. I don't drink. That's for my religion. Uh, hello down there. So it's not like I really know if that is, if that's really what it's supposed to be. One more time around the block, Jeeves. I hope you're not taking me back to your nest to uh, feed something. Down, wretched demon. Yeah, boy, he's lost his cups, ain't he? Hi, have you met my friend? Uh -oh. They just love to fly. fly. Up in the air, Junior Burt Man. <laughs> Yeah, I hadn't noticed the mental Breath figments from there. Above. <laughs> Name for me this monster so roughly bearing me o'er the sea. Oh. Oh, I thought it was a lily pad. It's a line. Hey, I can see your house from here. Is it green? Thanks for the lift, by the way. I didn't catch your name. Crap. Does anyone happen to have an air sickness bag? Wait a second, what am I doing up here? The better question is how am I supposed to get over there? Because I don't think that second platform is gonna be enough. Me back to your nest to, uh, Feed something. Okay, so it was. Breath from above. <laughs> hey, that's what I thought. That's why! you'd be able to use a uh, time bubble on that. This guy needs a oh. bag, Dad. Right! Curious what it says on some of those bottles. Uh, Name 
for me this in, monster so roughly bearing so me o'er the sea. Fermented mushroom liquor. I don't think there is such a thing. One more time around the block, James. Can do rum? What the? Oh yeah, that's right. Hey, I can see your house from here. Is it green? Over there. Oh, shoot. Put me down, wretched demon. Wait a second. What am I doing up here? to uh, feed something. Kind of remind me of a uh, Shel Silverstein poem. <laughs> Bleh. Shel Silverstein How can these poem. These look so sick. You spend so much time on them. You know, Silva. What was it? Silva Cynthia. Mm, Sylvia Stout will not take the garbage out. That's the one. Stout. My bad. Hey, don't get so close. Oh, goody. Oopsie, let me get this out of your way. I'm really going to hide this. Sure you will.
okay, the the lighting there was kind of freaky because it made the water look like it was mercury. I trust my opinion about seeds. I think I hear some emotional baggage nearby. What's that sound? Oh! Uh, there's a happy little accident. Didn't even know that's where the uh, emotional baggage was, or that it was the purse. Hmm. Looks like my plant friend is caught up in some regrets. What are you talking about? I have no regrets. And these must be somebody else's. Everybody has regrets. It's almost like you want to get hurt by this thing. I regret nothing. I learned nothing. <sighs> Does anyone have an, uh, have an air sickness bag? Why is it fizzing a little more than usual? Let you get hurt. Okay, yeah, so it was with that platform that it uncovers. Ho oh, ho! You don't want to be near this thing. I'm warning you. In a friendly way. Tried getting ahead of it and didn't quite work, but it did work out. Up in the air, Junior Burt Man. <laughs> Figures. Hey, I can see your house from here. Is it green? Catch your name. Oh, come on! One more time around the thieves. Name for me this monster. There we so go. Roughly bearing me over the sea. <laughs> this must be Bob's mother, Tia Zanato. But Tia means aunt. Careful! You almost touched it. Hey, don't get so close. Uh, hey, Mom. Are you heading out to the greenhouse again? so long. She put so much care and attention to the human to her greenhouse and plants that she neglected her family, didn't she? That's gonna do a number on someone. Mom? You out here? Well, that's a little foreboding. Oh, yes. Only very bad things down there. Perfect place for this. Oh, come on. You'd better leave Bob's memories alone. You don't want to bring out one of his bad moods. What's so dangerous about a bad... Uh-oh. Look, Mr. Mood. I'm sure we can work this out. For instance, let's examine the source of life.
possibly one of the bottles around here. Or trauma. Clairvoyance on this bad mood, but it looks immune to it. Not working. <sighs> okay, let's see what's causing this bad mood. <sighs> I mean, it does feel like that sometimes. <laughs> and how it perceived a Vespian was a really nice touch, I might add. Another possibility is that she wasn't really gardening, but rather was using that as a pretext for drinking. Wow. So this must be Lily's great grandmother. Uh oh. Moths know, right? Don't tell me once I get all the all three of the seeds and planted, they're gonna end up growing into the boss at this level. Look familiar? I don't know. Looks big. Let's plant it and see what happens. It's a dud. Agent Zanato, as an expert gardener, I'm sure you know the value of patience when it comes to. Well, hello. I'm off to find more seeds. Uh, well, don't you think this is enough? More's always better. I'll be right back. So those things lay out a path. Would've been nice to know that sooner. It's like mental breadcrumbs, I guess. I'm 
not mistaken, it's not uncommon for someone if they had their. It's not uncommon for someone with alcoholism issue before it to turn out that at least one of their parents had an alcoholism issue as well. Aha! I'm no plant scientist, but that looks pretty seedy to me. Yeah, I guess this place does look rather sketchy. Uh-oh. You! Okay over there? What? Uh, me? Oh, I I'm great, thanks. Oh, okay. Okay, so those bulbs have got to be his denial or something. so much better I guess if they're his denial that would explain why they push oh shoot why they push back the uh, water so, uh, what around here you to our neck of the swamp anyway this place does seem kind of familiar to me though this is where I get off Thanks for the lift. You're welcome. What? For saving you from that time bomb. It's just a seed. Ah, but isn't a seed just a bomb in slow motion? I swap that out. Yep. Oh, a lot of times, if I'm not mistaken, a lot of times people do end up developing alcoholism as a result of you know, turning to alcoholism and trying to yep. well cope with issues that they've got. Can't say it's a particularly know why people do that though. if they have a drinking habit to begin with, but I'm pretty sure there's more to it than that. It's kind of ironic that it <laughs> kind of ironic that I'm so familiar with uh, the kind of struggles that can come with alcoholism. I live in Wisconsin. I don't just live in Wisconsin. I grew up in Wisconsin.
Oh, so there's a bad mood around here. Duly noted. Sir. Ow. Let's see if we can get to the heart of this bad mood. in a river far away right hey it's not in there not in there I said I uh, could use a hand over here I don't know why I didn't realize until just now that the moth at least what it's Perched on something that looks like Bob's face. Yeah. It's you and me, kid. Let's show them who they're messing with. Over this way? Oh, great. That, that's exactly what I would have done. I haven't been over here in a while. Arch an enemy. I'm talking about. Careful, slippery stuff here. Ooh. They really ought to put down some yellow cones oh. here. I uh, don't suppose you have any golf shoes on you, huh? Something with uh, cleats. That whispering. If you start slipping, remember to lean into the slip. Oh wait, is that? Or maybe it's away from the slip. Careful. I think one of these tiles is loose. Just one? Uh-oh. Okay, so it's the cracked tiles. Did I hear a crack? up some <clears throat> brings up some
memories. Oh, are you headed down to the boss's office? I do not envy you. Fired? You can't fire me! I helped create this place! Recruited by Ford Crawler himself! I'd hate to see Truman get that mad. Got another one. Going great, don't you think? I'm off to find more seats. There's carnations. They kind of look like carnations. So you'd figure that seeds would be associated with good memories, but so far it seems to have only been associated with bad ones. Hi, Agent Zanato. You're fine. Yep. I think I got this one. Yep. the radius on them. And it's into this island before. Yeah, it must be something to do with Helmet Full Bear. I'm guessing the fact that as far as most of the Psychonauts are aware, Helmet Full Bear is dead. Crap. 
Okay, now, just hang on there. What? What's wrong? I wasn't doing anything. You weren't about to grab that seed. <laughs> grab that what? Oh my god, I didn't even see that. Let me grab that. No, wait! Thanks for the tip. Clearly Bob is very deep in denial. They just love to fly and fly. And I wager not just about his alcoholism either. Fortunately, my model was not able to really catch my actual expression there. Monsters so roughly bearing me o'er the sea. <laughs> Wait a second, what am I doing up here? Good question.
don't get so close. Wait, no, I want that. I guess it makes sense that a Wait mental a mind skip would be an elder's location. I don't know about this place. Yeah, it's got re it's got pain and regret caked all over it. Yes. Something causing this bad mood around here. That's wow. nice Rez. Remind me not to invite you to my wedding. You might be a bit late to remind you to do that. Or remind you to not do that. Whichever. Crap. <laughs> Is that straw always there? There we go. Look, I have you now. Bob, two of those seeds. They're harmless. You what? You have no idea the harm you've done, do you? Time to get serious. 
Not sure what Sirius Black has to do with any of this. I'm running out of places to hide this thing. Ooh, this is good. Nobody actually eats wedding cake, right? What? Well, I like wedding cake. Down here, kid. Get me out of here. I don't want to miss the ceremony. I bet I thought those were supposed to be garlic bulbs. Is that a gumdrop? I appreciate you offering to carry me down the aisle. My uh, regular carrier broke away when we crashed into the Champagne Tower. I'm fine, though. Didn't feel a thing. Takes a lot to crack this old noggin. Well, you know what? I don't think I'm ready to go in quite yet. Why don't you just set me down over there, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, I'm feeling a little off. And I don't want to ruin the ceremony. <laughs> See what I mean? Except he's alive. A wedding topper using concrete and rebar. Yep. I, Robert Zanotto, take this man, Helmut Fuller, the happiest day of my life. I used to think I loved plants more than people until I met this man. Well, you should put up with plants. When these feelings appeared in my heart, I thought they were weeds and I tried to pull them out. This mighty oak has given me shade, shelter, and something to lean on when I needed it. Just when I thought it. Good to see you again, Helmet. I'll make sure this gets back to Bob. takes place in an alternate universe. Or timeline, whichever. Whenever this takes place, it certainly isn't the odds, and the word bell case wasn't until after... Ah, uh, shoot. I had turned the Obama administration with my lunch. Well, Bob, you did it! Yep, I did it. Why so nervous? I'm just... I'm starting to remember... why I got rid of those seeds. you and I warned you but did you listen no don't worry I'm here to protect you again hey what are you doing to him 
Leave him alone. I'm protecting him. <gasps> protecting him? From what? You're about to find out. <laughs> Son of a hot one. Gotta be something more effective that I can use. Oh. You're monster. Bombs away. Oh, did I say bombs? I mean, treasure. I've been hit with bigger tomatoes than that. Seeds were bad news. Oh, now you've gone and put him into a bad mood again. I think I need to figure out what's Everything causing it. so nice here before you. <laughs> Wait. Maybe I can get rid of it. That moth is supposed to represent his alcoholism, doesn't it? I don't think gardening is supposed to hurt this much. It doesn't need to hurt at all. Doesn't need to hurt you, I mean. 
Toughness wasn't working. You get lost, kid. How can you do this to Bob? You love him. Love? <laughs> I don't really love him. If I did, how could I have left him all alone? Helmet? Helmet would never say that. <sighs> One second. It's important to stay hydrated. so bad at gardening yourself. Think you can handle them now? Willing to give it a try. How about those? Not sure if it was intentional, but that shot at the end kind of reminded me of the last verse of the song Message in a Bottle. Yep, all the bottles in the blue bin. Bottle caps, too. Hey, that too. We're recycling plastic now. Can you believe it? So, uh, Agent Sonato, think you could help me with a little yard work? Wow, what a mess. 
Yeah. I mean, it's impressive as far as strength and mass, but in terms of aesthetics, it's all over the place. You talking about the vines or that beard? Who's this? Helmet. So this is where you ran off to. Figures. What? It's me, Bobby. It's your psyching. But how? Where's your body? I was lost for a long time until this one found me. Body's on loan from the mailroom. Hang on, borrowed lips. Wouldn't be right. Yeah. And he's not as cute as you either. Well, neither are you right now. Come on, let's at least wash that beard. What is that smell? Mushrooms? You know I hate mushrooms. I know. <laughs> okay. Who knows what you'll find inside Nona's mind? Be sure you're ready for activating the astrolabe. Good advice. Ah, one of my regulars. We appreciate your business. for visiting the automatic. Seems to feel like a cheapskate right now. Welcome to the automatic. No. Not that. That. There you go. Delicious. I hope you never need it, but I'm glad you bought it. Stranger. Oh, whoops. Hmm. Is it time to take a spin in the brain tumbler? Better not be a cheap one. Yes, I'm ready to go to the collective unconscious. want to bother the feast during their encore. I'll just sneak around and clean up. Like a roadie. Like a roadie, you say? I guess since I'm back in this mind, it means it's time for the hippy dippy mm, psychotherapy. Mm, it's time for some. Yeah. It's time for the hippy dippy psychotherapist, man. The hippy dippy psychotherapy, man. Trouble you for a bubble? A 
know that's where it was. That always makes me a little dizzy. And I thought some of those Dr. Seuss bugs were trippy. I'm sure the trees had stripes like these, but they didn't move. The stripes didn't move, man. Right there, man. Uh oh, way too long, man. That was a good one. Weird cells around around this level. I think I had memory balls in them, and you need the couldn't get past the bars to open them to raise them. So I guess I'm gonna have to use that little archetype, dude. There's anything here, man. What a bummer. I think it's something down there, though. Maybe. I don't know, man. Guess it just head down. Yeah, it always sucks coming down.
Did I ever go this way, man? I must have. Weird, because I don't remember going that way. Captain Plant's pet fish, man! It's so cool! Sir, there's no no dudes you need to learn to chill. Uh, so that's what I was hearing, man. Hear the rainbow, taste the rainbow!
feel the universe. Oh man. didn't work out. Ah, uh, there's one of them, man. Alright, my funky little paper man. Performance. Ford Crawler? Yeah. Seems like he was the only one that really appreciated the man's vision. I wish you could have gotten that paper dude earlier, cause man, dude, so much fun, man. I never dealt one with him around. Nothing truly bends but our minds. I know, right? This way, man. I think there was. See you later. Yeah, see you later, dude.
Hide your tag. Now you're it. That and sure, it's no big deal, man. But how did I miss it? No, that wasn't it, man. That was it. At least fighting my way back over that hard. Just gotta go the other way along these rainbows, man. And there really should be a pot of gold at the end of one of these. I see you just get this weird funky triangle thing.
I know whose mouth that is, but clearly they can't hold their liquor. Nah. How did I miss? Your side team never hurt anyone, man. Wasn't Bobo Bo able to do that? Cool, man. Okay, so where does it go? Cool, man. Wait, is that it? Lame. They come from man. Just like that, he sticks to landing. Did 
another cell, man. I guess it ain't here. Different psychedelic power, man. May I trouble you for a bubble? Man, where was it? Maybe it was at the concessions. She could, she could, bleh, could go Thanks for some for things ride. to munch on. Doesn't look good, man. Oh, really not good. Sucks, man. Uh oh. That's not good. <laughs> hey, Snotty, beam me out of here. a brain though. some of those too. My mental energy has been lagging a little. Ta-ta! Okay, I have a feeling I'm about to get into some heavy business. Am I sure I'm ready for this? I'm ready for 
whatever might happen. Long enough. It still works. Of course it still works. Otto over engineers everything. Crawler, I, I think that's the nicest thing you've ever said about me. Otto, yeah. you're Game's all here. well fed. Oh, you sound like your old self. Well, some things are clear to me now that weren't before. But come on, there's a lot to be done. Otto's from Grulovia, isn't he? He's got the same jawline. Ford! Ford, is it really you? Cassie! Compton! And Bob! I'm... I'm... I'm happy to see all of you again. What's Nick from the mailroom doing here? That's actually Helmet Fullbear's brain in Nick's body. <gasps> <gasps> I do love making a grand entrance. Sounds like Fullbear. He's in there, all right. But where have you been? Uh, you don't want to know that. I've missed you so much, Big Bear. I never thought I'd see everybody together again. Well, almost everybody. Hey, I remember this place. We used to sneak in here and fool around on the beanbag. You remember? Lucy. Nick has the same jawline, too. How'd she get over there? Junk was made by Auto Mentalis. So uh, there's no telling what might happen. Oh, what can I say? I was underfunded back then. But if everything goes well, we might be able to have our dear friend Lucretia back in the circle. For good. Now, you ready? Kind of. <laughs> Me too, kid. construct they made for Lucy to convince her that she was your grandmother and that she lived with you. Come on, it's time to get her out of here. Ew! 
What did you step in? I don't know. It looks like a puddle of goo. With a mask of me in it. I think you can see my brother. He was just standing here a second ago. Ah, uh, here he is. Oh, well, come on, Rad. It's showtime. You better play along with this, Raz. We don't want to upset the construct until we have control of its situation. I'll work on Nona. Circus, though, that I'm a bit confused about that. Get right up to the wheel of endangerment, and behold the daring father daughter team of crazy and Augustus Aquattle. One will live, one will die. Maybe, who knows? Only one way to find out. See the strongest boy on earth. Creepy Aquattle, as she lifts weights that are, frankly, quite alarming. Oh dear. Person who's put in the water there was her sister. Ah! Eh? Seems like there's a platform there. Who was Donatella's favorite son? I predict it's whichever one successfully completes the nearly impossible balancing course. Kill her papa? No one knows. Well, there goes the circus. Let's think about falling for the dino. Crap. I wonder if, because you're rolling around on a test ball, I wonder if a dog watching this might start going a bit nuts. Come on. Oh, come on! What the heck? I didn't have nearly as much trouble last than the first time around. Shut up, Dion! Dion, shut up. <laughs> Seriously? Lift a horse and 
your spirit. Okay, how the heck did that miss? Didn't have nearly as much trouble with the meat circus. Finally! Kill her papa? No one knows. <laughs> the only thing sadder than a child stabbing a parent is when it happens without an audience. Don't let this sacrifice be for nothing.
I didn't miss that time. Is it always that high? That water. Ford, our surface didn't have a quilting area. I didn't make this. I created that two bit flea circus to make Lucy forget who she was. But it looks like she escaped. Come on, cry. Thank you, dummy. This way. Wow. Wow. Guess you learn a thing or two when you live with fleas. That's a lucky guess. this? It's Lucy and your father. 
Well, this must be one of the first real memories she formed after the astrolabe procedure. Your father was put into an orphanage after his parents were drowned. I locked Maligula away, deep in Lucy's mind, to make Lucy herself again. But then I got your father out of that orphanage, buried some of his more uh, traumatic memories, and brought him to her. Why? Well, they were both all alone in the world. The only family the other had left. My sweet little Gussie. It's moving. Wait, wait. been yarn bombed. Maybe a heck of a way to grind money. Grind Satanium. Where is that baggage tag? to get that figment one way or another.
played a lot of video games, but I've never seen a final area real or alleged that looks so cozy. Oh, sorry. Wrong one. This would be a sweet picture if I didn't know everybody was under some sort of astrolabe hypnosis. I never used the astrolabe on the rest of the family. These are real memories Lucy made for herself after I was gone from her life. Good family, excellent balance, very flexible. Not afraid of heights. Not like you, Nick Crowley. Lucy, please! <laughs> again. I'm just pretty sure it's making that noise. Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp? You're the reason I became a psychonaut? Really? I didn't know that you were crazy, but you were such a nerd with those comic books. Hey, True Psychic Tales is a graphic nonfiction periodical. Some part of you knew you were living a lie. You sensed Raz's power. You thought he could help you. Uh, I don't know, Crowley. I get so confused sometimes. Usually I was happy. Just so intense and stretching the children, telling them to stay away from the water. Then I was chill too. So sad. And just when I was about to figure it out, everything would start to unravel. I hate this place. This is it. This is where I locked up Maligula. Behind that dam. We need to unlock it and draw Maligula out into the open. Then we'll combine our powers and direct the astrolabe to blast open a pit into the deepest part of her mind. Why don't we just, you know, blast Maligula? Maligula is a part of Lucy's mind. A primitive part that may have helped her early ancestors survive. We all have our own Maligula Rasputin. We just know how to keep it locked up down below. If you can secure the area while I keep Lucy calm, then we should be able to unlock this dam together.
full combat. Burn! Bad ideas up there. Okay. Lucy's getting more upset. Almost done. until I figure out what's behind it. There must be something causing this bad mood around here. That's a lot of baggage. Now, open that locket, and we'll use the astrolabe to blast it. <laughs> Go figure that all of her baggage would be over here. some emotional baggage now. And I think I had tag this one. Focus the astrolabe, Rasputin. Quickly! I 
second feeling this isn't gonna quite work. We might have made a mistake. I think we made many mistakes. scared and alone, but now I'm only one of those things. Oh, we've grown. Let's hope the astrolabe can make a deep enough pit. Don't worry, Fort. I'll be right here beside you! Jackpot! Bullseye! I felt her. Maligula. I know the identity of the mole. That's incredible, Sasha. Well, I had mechanical assistance, which you didn't need. <clears throat> Agents? We have a security breach in the Green Needle Gulch. She's here. Okay, but what happened to Rasputin? in distress so I pulled you out is that her I told you he was up to something out here with his girlfriend Maligula that's not his girlfriend you little snitch I'm his girlfriend my god oh yeah funny story that's not really Nick from the mail room. I know that, but why? Doesn't matter. I'll take it with me when I take her. Uh... I feel like there's some major twists that just happened. And are about to be revealed. For instance, why pull Raz out out of there instead of the others? What's he trying to do with the Astrolabe? And why was he shocked to see Nick? Lily, Raz, listen. I've been following my dad for a while, and he's acting really weird. We need to get to the bottom of this. How? Let's get Sasha and Mia to help. But my dad might be gone by the time we get back. I need to see what's going on inside his mind. I need to go in. Into the grand head. You're right. We do. Wait. What? You're not going to make me do this alone, are you? in a bit. But... Huh? That's not right. Well, at least you know he thought about his family. Yeah, 
But what's with all the lines showing how we're all related? Maybe he was getting more forgetful? I don't get it. Bigs and 2K. Um. Oh, bigs. Fake beards. Here are his outfits. That's pretty normal. In his mind? Have you ever seen my father? He never thought about his clothes. Dad? I guess he's really proud of his diplomas. Then why doesn't he hang them up in his office? He's secretly proud. It's almost like he comes here to practice being himself. Rasputin, I got it. Maybe your dad was considering a change of beard? Never! Not my dad! Get back here, you little mouse! Strange. Hang on, what's back here? Gotcha. Hey, this statue. I don't really think of your dad as a vain. He's not. I'm telling you, something's not right in this stupid place. Hmm. I think there's something under here. Yeah. More plastic. What the? was a really big fan of Nick from the mailroom. Well, most people are. Except my dad. My dad once told me he thought Nick John Smith was an obsequious little lick spittle. Lick spittle? That's how my dad talked. My real dad. Raz, this isn't my dad's mind. Lily! Hey, you kids, get off that carpet. VIPs only. If it's not your dad's mind, whose mind is it? His. Nick Spring is missing, but I mean, Nick? Make way, common folk. Make room for Zazarevich Crystal Malik, future Czar of Grolovia. Is the Zazarevich? I can't believe it. What's a Zazarevich? The missing heir to the throne of Grulovia. He lived in exile with his family after Maligula destroyed the capital. Why is his brain in your dad's body? And where is my father's real brain? Come on, let's make him talk. Come on, he's getting away. Coming through. Pardon us. Well, I never. Who? Oh, excuse me. Help! This person's cutting in line. Move aside. Hi. Can we get on the ride, please? Did you two cut in line? We're VIPs. Oh, does that stand for vertically impaired preteens? Oh, come on! This is an emergency! It's for your own safety. Come back when you're older. Raz, do you remember our talk about moments? Because this is not one. Get it? Yep. That will work. Okay, we're older. Check us now. <laughs> oh, man. How long have I had this job? I gotta get out of here. Sorry, Grolovians only. What? You can't... It's okay, Raz. Go. But, Lily... Don't worry. I have a plan. Now... Hey! Follow that czar!
Gee, I wonder where they got the idea of this. seem hideously the ostentatious. forward to the happy day when Crystal Malik would legally and rightfully inherit his father's throne, but alas, that was not meant to be. The Tsar's minister of war and protector of the people, General Maligula, had aroused the jealousy of the warmongering Ford Crummer. What the? He led his mob of psychonauts Gang up on Maligula, drowning the brave warrior. Just when I thought I'd heard every version of this story. And drowning much of Grulovia in the process. Why didn't the Tsar help Maligula in her time of need? No one knows, but historians agree it is Tsar Theodore's biggest failure. In the end, Grulovia, the Malix, and Maligula were betrayed by the weak of the Tsar and the bloodlust of the Psychonauts. That is some messed up junk. <clears throat> well, I agree, Brez, that is some messed up junk. It's even more messed up because I've seen people in real life who will delude themselves in much the same way. Hey, Raz. I'm watching you on the control panel here. Why'd you stop? This door won't open. What happened to the riot operator? He, uh, had an accident. Hmm. Looks like there's an electrical problem up above the ride. Okay, I'll drain the water so you can get up there. If you can fix it, I should be able to get the ride going again from here. Check. I was wondering when I'd be able to get out of that dang ride. Uh-oh. Oopsie! Oh, wrong way. That's supposed to be a Fabergé egg. Although the fact that uh, the the ride narrator said that uh, what was his name Nick John Smith or 
Gristle, that was it, would rightfully and legally inherit the throne, it makes me think that he was not actually first in line to the throne. Yeah, he was probably engaged in some dirty deeds in order to uh, remove the competition. This is not how I heard this story. Then again, I'm not sure who to trust anymore. Hey, Ford, think you can help me up into those rafters? Well, I wager Ford and the other psychic six. Or Psychic 7, rather. They could probably be trusted, considering the fact that they have expressed regret whenever they... They've expressed regret in some form any time that they told Raz their side of the story. Egret. Hmm. Toot your own horn. Catch me, angels! That was jerks. Really hoping you guys would rise to the occasion. Contrast with uh, Crystal Malik's mind. Everything about it just screams fake or liar. Funny thing is, though, with regards to me suspecting that uh, Nick was the mole, uh, that was mostly because of the fact that, you know, as the guy that works the mailroom, he'd have access to correspondence going in and out of in and out of psychonauts. Not to mention, you could probably apply some kind of 
you know, mundane means to snoop into people's mail and all that. It's kind of funny, too, because, uh, okay, spoiler warning for the Dresden Files. Uh, the spoiler warning will be over when you, once again, see my model shake back and forth like this. Okay, so, the spoiler here, in Turncoat, uh, the Grand White Council of Wizards has a, they have a mole. Well, not just a mole, a traitor. I ended up figuring that, you know, as soon as Dresden ran into the, uh, what the heck was it? Was he? I think it's like the scribe or something like that. Handled all the documents. I ended up thinking to myself, oh, that guy's the traitor. Because the guy is... The guy makes it very clear that he doesn't care for Dresden when he's just some, like, background scribe. That, you know, just some kind of scribe that is just there in the background and just handles all the documents and bureaucracy and all that. Plus, as the scribe, the guy had access to all the documents. Turned out the way he was really doing it was that he was making use of some uh, potions that we'd mix in with the ink. So he's completely right about who it was, but not how. Did that fix the problem? Looks good, Spoiler now. over! Are you sure that was the right button? Was it? Since we're not regular sensors, that much of a handful. Sure, two of them on. No effect. They're protected by that. Now for you and your hat. No. Mm, thank you for the mental energy, Psyop. 
Is that always there? Is that Harold? for the glory of Grolovia, or whatever. What's the holdup? Hang on, I gotta talk to a guy about a door. Uh, excuse me, but this door over here? Sorry, busy. Busy with what? Propaganda nearing. I'm creating a future chapter in this glorious, semi-interactive location-based epic. This treasure room tells the story of how once the Zazarovich finds Maligula and restores Grulovia to its former glory, the people will all share in unimaginable riches. But it's missing something. Not sure what. Like something to go in that big egg cup in the middle? Yeah, something there. Like maybe an egg? That's it! See? Sometimes you just need a fresh set of eyes. Hey. You get me a big, beautiful, luxurious egg, and I'll use my pass to open that door for you. Deal! Hey, where do they keep the big eggs around here? Crystal told me the best eggs he ever found were out in the ocean. Whatever that means. The egg in the box and... That whole thing that, uh... Dr. Lobato was yammering on about. Yeah. Suitcase tag. 
Okay, I guess not then. What's that sound? I need the purse tag here. Oh yeah, the ocean. Lily, do you see any controls for a giant painted mural with props? I see something called Glomian's Diasporama. It has buttons for scenery, props, and heroes. Hmm. Let's change the scenery. Okay. Desert Wasteland. Why not? I think I want to change something else now. Whatever. Okay, that's enough for now. Thanks, Lily. Bye, Roz. There's something over there. Lily, can you change that projector screen again? It has buttons. Can we alter the props? Yep. I think some cacti would really set the mood. You sure this is doing something? I want to change something else, I think. Figures. Okay, that's enough for now. Thank Bye, Roz. I need to find out where that music is coming from. Change that projector screen again? Yep, it has, but. Let's change the scenery. Okay, there are buttons for Arctic Exile. Show me a drift at sea, could you? What's this all about? I think I want to change something else now. Whatever. Can we alter the props? Yep. Those trees are ruining it. Get rid of them. Okay. I think what this needs is some fish. Interesting choice. I want to change something else, I think. Figures. Okay, that's enough for now. Thanks, Lily. The Maliks must have lived at the casino for a while. Suffering in exile. Ha! Lily, there's a room here just like the one we found on the mission to the casino. 
The delusionist was Crystal. So that's why Nick had a love to host key in his pocket. He was living there. Yeah, in exile. Ooh, that means he's the one who wrote the creepy note about me. He's here, Crystal. Really? Wait a second. Huh. Not what I would have expected. Hey! Why the long face? My father died today. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't be. He ruined my life. And if it weren't for him? I'd be the Tsar of Grulovia, <laughs> believe it or not. Instead, I'm homeless. I don't know. This place looks pretty nice. Ha! Good one. Hey, kid. There's... something about you I like. Are you, by any chance, of Grulovian blood? Half. Half blood will have to do. <laughs> Come. And let us toast to the fatherland. Hey, want some caviar? I don't know. I've never had caviar. That's okay. It's just eggs. Incredibly expensive eggs. Well, since you put it that way... You won't regret it. I mean, look at these eggs. Maybe I'll have just one. <laughs> I don't think one is going to do the trick. We'll see. It's gonna roll like an egg, too. Uh. Well, I can't see if everybody's terribly fond of egg rolls. There we go.
<laughs> kind of makes me think Rock of Ages. It's weird because I haven't played it. Oops! That's right, right through here. Perfect. Now please leave before you break anything else. Crystal's memory of stealing your father's brain. Does he show what he did with it? No, it's just a weird puppet show now. Hey, wait. I'm in this one. He found their organization ridiculously easy to manipulate. Some of their most trusted agents were mere children, easily controlled by puppet master Malik. Super creepy. I got a bad feeling about this. force. Huh. 
Go figure. Burn, baby, burn. I just want to find that part and get back on the ride again. I just want to find this stupid music box that's playing the music! Is that a brain in a picnic basket? Yogi Bear would not approve. This must be the moment where Lovato stole Agent Zanato's brain. Creepy. Okay, put the egg in the basket, and the old egg in the box, and put the box in the ocean, rather than the lake. Here's the steamer trunk tag. Uh. 
Cutscene! some weird stuff off the ride and Raz, we're chasing Crystal Malik, remember? Not having fun at an amusement park. <sighs> I'm headed back to the cart now. Give me a little piggy bank. Land without caviar. Oh, looks like, uh, huh, looks like Crystal's father was actually bothered by that. I guess Crystal just didn't give a crap. Oh yeah, that's right. I like to fight it without the rendition of it's a small world after all. Oh, whoops. Okay, so my health's full. Good to know. Finally!
Got it. Get me out of this creepy place. Okay. It looks like you're catching up with Crystal. Keep a lookout for him. Just when I socked the music. code name I made for you. Oh, I like it. Let's go mash crystal. I think it's fitting. Forty minutes left on the clock. Will that be enough? some emotional baggage so what did you think I think you're a very confused person and you don't know what you're messing with I'm going to restore a whole country to greatness a country that your heroes the psychonauts tore apart Bolivia was never great. It was always a fair to middling country at best. Please. I was there. You weren't. It was amazing. I had a cotton candy maker in my bedroom. The people hated the Maliks. If that were true, then why did they unanimously re-elect us every election? Your dad was a brutal dictator and a ruthless strongman. My father's only problem was that he wasn't strong enough. As Tsar, I won't have that problem. Trust me. Your father used Lucretia Mux to squash nonviolent protests. Molecular rained on a few parades, yes. But that's what cooled them down before they got too violent. Tsar Theodore made a monster. He pushed a vulnerable young woman to do such horrible things in the name of her country that she snapped. He broke her. He took a sad country girl and turned her into a mighty warrior. And I'm going to do it again. I tell you will. Maligula is my grandma. <laughs> oh boy, now who's confused? Where's Truman's brain? Not my problem. I've had enough of this. Yes, me too. Hey, I'm not a puppet. I'll break out of this in two minutes and then you'll be sorry. That's all the time I need to have Truman extricate Maligula from her captors back in the physical world. No, please don't. She's in a very fragile state right now. Any stress or memories could... Could awaken the Guardian of Grulovia and fulfill all of my hopes and dreams? You don't say. Please excuse me. I don't want to miss this. Hey, 
you jerk! I'm gonna wreck this place! Made with real air. Oh, it's out. My hey. father's Ow. brain. Please, it's a plush toy, little prince. It's made with real metal in the briefcase. Come over here. How? Oh. children just inside the mind of the grand head of the psychonauts no darling we saw you come out that's an incredible security violation listen that's the mole kid you're way behind the mole is nick from the mailroom sasha just figured it out but i always had my suspicions why there he is over there no that's the Zazarovich of Bulovia. Or at least his body. His mind is in my dad's head. Ugh, we don't have time for this. Let's go get my dad's brain. Out of my way. Did she just say... Gah. I think we should get out of here. I am here to correct the mistakes made by my father. I am Gristal Malek, son of Tsar Theodore, rightful ruler of Brulovia, and servant of Maligula. Lucy, this isn't you. We can fight this together. Thor, you're here too. This is awkward. Ah, there's so many people here. Too much baggage. Need to... Push it all away! <gasps> Lily, wait! some help. Ow, my neck. Oh. Is Molecula 
Sarah doing that? Of course she's doing that. I need any more gadgets right now. Good, because I would never trust one to someone so young. Of course. I hope my family is still. That was strangely camp. convenient. Your father had a rough night. He's been remembering things. Lost her Rasputin. know what we have to do. Mio caro. No tears, my love. It's showtime. Time for the devil's fire holes. Quip it on the bottom. Interesting choice of subtitles. Came from. Well, this 
is Cherry. My grandparents were part of the protests in Grulovi after the war. It didn't end well. Here's a scene I was hoping not to see again. Grandma Morona. My real Grandma Morona. And my dad's father, Lazarus. Nice to see them alive, actually. He's still alive, isn't he? Nobody names a character Lazarus in a work of fiction only for them to be killed off for good. You're in the way, Maligulugly. Maligulugly. Malugly. Yeah, I gotta practice that before I meet her for real. Clearly. I'm gonna pay for that later. Uh, Nona? Oh, uh, hi. I'm Raz. I'm your great nephew. <laughs> I mean, not that I think I'm great or anything. Just that you're my grandma's sister, and I'm here to talk you out of being evil because, you know, you're still family and all. Family? All I see is another unruly Grulovian peasant. A uh, half Grulovian. Another piece of trash, and he devours from the streets. <laughs> oh boy. children. Oh, I hear a storm is coming. Hmm? <laughs> I am the deluge of Grolovia. No, no, no. Let me scream. That one. Clone lust for violence and destruction. Okay, that sounded scarier than I wanted it to. But you're actually a normal part of any human mind. Ooh. The problem is she's all twisted up in knots. I got something that'll help you. Unwind. Ooh, that looked painful. It's okay. I have another one. Thanks. 
heck? There's the mental energy I need. Thanks, I Hey, that little old lady's inside her. Now that you've seen that, I'm afraid I can't let you leave. Wait, what does that even mean? It means run! part of the fight or flight conflict. But you're supposed to be small. Stay down in the primitive brain until needed. Hold still, dang it. wasn't it? Probably intentional considering she's taking the form of a water spout. from that water. to me, upset about some terrible mistake she had made. So we put the word out on KLOB, and guess what? People were listening! At least one of them. 
and they told the others. Thanks, Morris. You owe me an exclusive on-air interview for this, okay? You got it, buddy. Marona wasn't supposed to be there. Lazarus shouldn't have brought her. He killed my sister. No, that's not quite right. No, that's not quite right. Would you listen? I... I killed my sister. I might not be your real grandmother. I killed my sister. But you're still my family! But so much. <laughs> I kill lots of people! Thing I can offer now is everything I've got. But there's all one more. Oh, I wish I had made you bigger. It's okay, Nona. Look behind her. His little cholesterol. <laughs> yep, and we're gonna fill it. He got into the pit! This is the era of Titans. Deal. Everybody's got something like you. We just know how to keep it where it belongs.
was very unexpected. Get that brain back where it belongs. Do you have a funnel? Uh, do you have a pepper grinder? Because you have to get the old brain out. So that's it? Caligula gets to live out in Green Needle Gulch with Ford as if she didn't just try to kill people? <laughs> She deserves a second chance. And I think I deserve a vacation. My brain's been through a lot. Oh, no, you don't. I've kept this place afloat during your little nap, and now I'm taking two of the 17 weeks of vacation I've saved up to lie in a beach where none of you can find me. Right after we take care of some important psychonauts business. Well, are you coming or not? Now that's leadership. Despite my best efforts, you interns have seen some really inappropriate things. But I think you've also learned a truth that every psychonaut should know. <laughs> that there are flaws in our most venerated institutions, in our heroes, and in ourselves. We all make mistakes. And we all need help sometimes. But we all deserve a second chance. You've seen us at our worst. And we've seen you at your best. And I'm proud to say, you have all graduated from the intern program. Woo! Yes. That's what I'm talking about! You are all now officially junior agents of the Psychonauts. Junior? I'll take it. Actually, a bit over time. I knew I graduated the intern program and all, but I'll bet if I snuck in a little extra credit work, that would really irritate Norma. <laughs> Let's see. Congrats. Good job. Whatever. Congratulations, Junior Psychonaut. A new auto shop filter for finding collectibles is now available at all automatic locations. If you've ever borrowed any gadgets you have from auto, report to him in the lab first. But I'm gonna have to call it there. As always, folks, thank you for watching. Do not stop being awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video. But until then, take care. <laughs>